so that'll do. Now what I'm going to show you at this point is how to put the piston rings on the piston. Some of you may already know this, but if you don't, there's little pins here in the piston ring grooves. And what you have to do is you have to line up the end of the ring where that groove is. To insert the bottom ring, find where the pin is on that piston ring hole. Insert the end of the ring near the pin. Then work the ring around gently. You can see the ring is working its way down. Now don't pry it too much. Then once you've got it there, just insert it and line it up with the piston pin. Just like that. Now to put the top ring on, just insert it in the groove where the pin is. Try to get the ring on the back here as much as you can. There's less chance of breaking the ring like that. And just line her up. Make sure that they're nice and springy like that. And this is ready to be put on. Next you can reinsert the bearing. Make sure none of the roller bearings are missing. And it's like a little magnet here. I'm just going to spray a bit of uh, penetrating oil to lube it. Now I'm going to add a bit more oil in here. Now it's time to put the base gasket on. Make sure that it's clean and dry to the touch. And I'm going to put a small layer of RTV silicone, not much, but just enough so that there's a film on this side of the base. And then I'm going to do the same on the cylinder. So I've just put enough RTV silicone on the base there where the oil could come out. Now I'll push the gasket against the RTV silicone. It's going to stick to it. And once you tighten down the cylinder, it's going to make a nice tight seal there. So no oil whatsoever is going to come out. Now I'll wipe any oil off the base of the cylinder. There could be oil there from the factory. Now I'm going to put a bit of silicone on top of the gasket to contact the cylinder. Now I'm also going to coat the inside of the cylinder with some oil. What I've got here is some transmission oil. And I'm also going to put some on the piston and the rings here. I just want everything to be smooth and lubricated when I insert the cylinder. Now to install the piston, I've decided to take it off the motor and I'm going to insert it into the cylinder part ways and then put the rod in after that. I just don't want to take a chance of busting the ring and then having to wait another month for the parts. Now I need to squeeze this ring really good. Now I'll put the other retaining clip. Once you've got it in like this, just put a bit of oil on the edges. She'll be smoky when she starts, but it's good that there's a lot of oil to break it in there. You want to tighten up all the nuts at the bottom evenly. So I'll tighten up in one corner over here, then this corner, then that corner, and then the other corner so that the cylinder goes on evenly so that you have no oil leaks whatsoever 
on the base and the cylinder. And it's 14 millimeters. Now that you've got everything tightened up, check for proper movement of your piston. And it looks good. When you look inside the cylinder, you want to make sure that the rings look like this. Or the ridges of the rings do not meet in the exhaust port. So it's going to be full rings there. And unlike the old piston and cylinder, there is no loose at all or play between the piston and the cylinder wall.